Star of the Sea, A Day in the Life of a Starfish by Janet Hoffman, illustrated by Joan Paley. Stars blink in the night sky above the rocky coast. Beneath the crashing waves, another kind of star clings to the rocks with hundreds of sticky tube feet. She is an okra sea star, the common starfish of the Pacific coast. As the high tide rushes in, the star sea star crawls onto the shore to hunt. Water flows into an opening in her top and she pumps the water into her feet, making them work on the now flooded land. She inches along, twisting her flat body like a pretzel. Her mouth is on her underside and she doesn't have a head or tail end. Tiny red eye spots on, at the tips of her rays tell her light from dark. What is this? That is an oyster. Tiny red eye spots at the tips of her rays tell her light. She leads first with one ray, then another, heading for the mussels growing halfway up the shore. These are mussels, not what I just said. Instead, they are mussels, a type of shell. All around her, the shore has come to life under the refreshing tide waters. Sea snails wander over the rocks and graze on algae. Sea anemones open like flowers. Crabs scoot out from cracks beneath the rocks. Sea star tries to grab a limpet for a snack. But the limpet quickly covers his shell with its slippery mantle. Sea star can't get a grip. She gives up and continues on her journey. Suddenly, a rock beneath her teeters, flipping her upside down. A fish swims over to nibble at her soft tube feet, but not for long. Like a circus acrobat. She folds over two of her rays and grips the rocky shore with her sticky feet. She somersaults, landing right side up. The fish doesn't like her though, spiny top and swims away. Finally, Sea Star reaches the mussel bed. She hunches over a big mussel and grips it with two shells, with her strong feet. The tug of war is on. As she tries to pull open the shells, the mussel struggles to keep them closed. But Sea Star won't get tired. Her many feet work like a relay team, with some resting and others pulling. Soon the mussel's shells open just a crack. That's enough. Sea Star extends her stomach right out of her mouth and into the tiny crack. Slowly, her stomach turns the mussel's soft body to liquid, right inside the shells. When Sea Star is done eating, she pulls her stomach back in. Only the shells of the mussel are left. All night long, Sea Star feasts on mussels. When the tide starts to flow back to the sea in the morning, she is still eating. She finishes the last of her mussel the heads down the shore toward the sea and home. She waited too long. The edge of the tide soon passes by her, leaving her uncovered on the shore. Without water, her two feet will not work for long. As she feels for a crack where she can hide and stay moist, keen eyes spot her from above. A seagull swoops down and snatches her. The hungry bird lifts sea star high to the sky, one by one ray, gripping her tighter and tighter. Still, chomp. The bird bites through her ray. Sea star drops onto the shore, startled, startled but alive. The seagull is left holding only a ray. Quickly, sea star slides into a moist scrap between two rocks. She is safe. In the afternoon, when the water of high tide flow onto the shore once again, Sea Star completes her return home. At the ocean's edge, she crawls under some seaweed to rest. With time, Sea Star's lost ray will grow back. But for now, she will continue to hunt with four rays to the rhythm of the tides.
เข้าสมัครโกรได้ใช่ไหมใช่ด้านหลังมีอะไรคะด้านหลังมีอินโฟเบชันแล้วก็แฟกเกี่ยวกับซีสตาร์หรือว่าสตาร์ฟิชคือบอกบอกว่าปากอยู่ตรงไหนขาอยู่ตรงไหนอะไรแบบนี้เกี่ยวกับลูกเกี่ยวกับการขาโตกลับมาเกี่ยวกับครอบครัวเกี่ยวกับการเดินไปมาแล้วก็มีเกี่ยวแล้วก็มีเกี่ยวกับคำที่เราไม่รู้